My research in chemical engineering deals with uh, materials and compounds that would uh, perform or facilitate chemical reactions. Chemical reactions uh, are all around us. It means that some chemical compounds are uh, converted into other chemical compounds. The re chemical reactions that we're interested in are the ones that are related to energy and environmental challenges. So imagine if we could, uh, let's say, reduce global warming by taking CO2, carbon dioxide, from the atmosphere and convert it into fuel and gasoline that we can use to power our cars, for example, rather than taking it from the ground. Or if we could take nitrogen from the atmosphere, convert it into fertilizers that we, do, we use every day to grow crops. So in all these cases, there are chemical compounds that are involved and there are chemical reactions that need to be performed. So in order to go from, let's say, carbon dioxide to a fuel, we have to break some chemical bonds. Essentially, the atoms in CO2 are stick together uh, with chemical bonds and if we want to rearrange those chemical bonds and those atoms we have to break some of them and form some other chemical bonds. In order to do that you would require energy so some of these chemical transformations can occur but they would require a, a large amount of energy. What we're trying to do is to find materials that would lower that energy required to break some of these chemical bonds and stitch the atoms together selectively into a chemical compound that is useful to us, for example, gasoline, which is a hydrocarbon. This is a process called uh, catalysis. Catalysis is the science of breaking and forming chemical bonds with lower uh, energies required to run these processes and in a selective fashion. And this is what we're studying in our research group is finding materials that would run these processes that we call catalytic processes with higher efficiency and lower energy input.